first are from Kenya. There is a move for the government, for Kenya to pull out of the Rome Statute, to pull out of the International Criminal Court. If, say, that succeeds, uh, they do so, does this affect the process? No, no, Kenya is a sovereign country. Kenya decided to ratify this treaty. Kenyan authorities are supporting the court of investigations, but if they decide to change the behavior, they can do that according with the rules. The rules say they you need one year to withdraw. Yes, so you can withdraw for the one year after you take the decision. So if the Congress in your country takes the decision, it's one year later. In the meantime, we have jurisdiction in this case. It's for the future. It's a Kenyan decision. I am working the, here because Kenya sovereignly decided to be part of the court. And that's why I'm, I'm an independent part of the Kenyan justice system. So I'm working in Kenya because Kenya decided that integrate the system. So Kenya can decide not to do the system. But this case are before the ICC. Uh, you say no one can affect the, the witnesses. Sorry. You say no one can affect the witnesses. But isn't that a bold statement? How, how can you make that claim? Uh... What I'm saying is, in accordance with the law, if someone interfered with the investigation of the ICC, could be prosecuted before the ICC. And I will do that. Uh, we have another question in from uh, KBC Television. Um, people feel that the investigation was done hastily. How can they be reassured that the investigations were proper and that these are the six names? The judges will review the investigation. The judges have the final word in the court. So the prosecutor has duties. We, have, uh, we are doing professional work, but the judges will decide, and they will review the evidence. And, the, the, and, the, and each of the six names could appear before the court and request uh, present arguments or make a request to the judges. The judges will decide. Kenya will enjoy an impartial judicial system in the ICC. Yes. A, a question from uh, GBS Television. Are the suspects allowed to talk to the media on the case? As soon as they are not a threatening witness, of course they can. They have free. They have free. They are, they are free. So, but they cannot violate any of the rules defined in the Rome Statute. They cannot. In particular, they cannot threat witnesses. Uh, finally, when you in Kenya had indicated that uh, you had information witnesses were being threatened, can you confirm to us if uh, the people involved in threatening or of the witnesses are, are any among the six? We are checking the information about the issues. Our, our witnesses are not in Kenya, so it's difficult to threat them because I have no witnesses in Kenya. All of them are in different countries under protection, so that's why no one attack them, no one threat them. But we are trying to check, investigate attempts to threat other people, and we'll follow on it. Alex Chamada again from Citizen TV, Nairobi, Kenya. There are those who are challenging the, um, the action to name the suspects before the courts um, issue indictments. Um, what's your comment on that? They believe you jumped the gun and uh, this will destroy people's careers before uh, we know whether there is a case or not yet. And then the uh, other question is, um, you've given conditionalities, what they should do or not do while this process is going on, but some of them are in public office. So uh, what would happen, what, what's your comment, given that they are in public office and yet there are those conditionalities like not being able to talk to, uh, to each other. I know locally there are rules that uh, may be uh, interpreted whether they should leave or not. are comparable, equivalent, as I said. Mm -hmm. The reason, so yes, when we do first set up the FSM, the FSF, you remember that was in the beginning of May 2010, member states, therefore including Ireland, agreed that terms and conditions of the loans